Stratified cuboidal epithelium is a specialized tissue. It's found scattered throughout the body. In sweat glands, it produces sweat. In the seminiferous tubules, it uh, produces sperm. And it's also found in the ovary, particularly in mature or graphene follicles, uh, which are uh, places where eggs are maturing. And so we'll look at it here in an ovary. This has several mature follicles, so I don't think it's a human ovary. It's probably a mouse or a rabbit ovary. And uh, this is what we're going to focus in on. So let's zoom a little bit. Woo! Um, here is a basement membrane. This structure is called a follicle. Uh, this large cell in the center of that, you see another one down here in a less mature follicle, is an egg. Is, that's the human egg. This stuff uh, that is filling the space, here's some over here and this is here, that is liquid. It's referred to as an antrum. So here's the basement membrane and this, these are stacks of cuboidal cells that produce female hormones. And here we go. Uh, this is the egg. These cells constitute a stratified cuboidal epithelium. This again is liquid. And the way this works is as an egg is maturing and getting ready to ovulate, the follicle fills up with fluid and the fluid continues to accumulate until essentially it bursts and the egg goes flying out of the ovary to get drawn into the fallopian tube. Wow. That's one of those places where our bodies don't feel terribly elegant. At least I don't think so. So basement membrane, stacks of cells, uh, you'll see it again in the context of an ovary, a mature follicle, or graphene follicle in an ovary. Stratified cuboidal epithelium.